Here's a question that I want you to think about for a moment. If you look at this and try to figure out you know, where the chiral centers are, sometimes it's actually easiest to eliminate what can't be chiral centers. Well, it's easy to eliminate the bromine. You can eliminate any of the CH3 groups because those have three hydrogens. You can eliminate any of the CH2 groups because those have two hydrogens. And we can eliminate this carbon because it has two carbon, two methyl groups attached. So that leaves us to having to consider this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, and then the one down at the end, let me just highlight that in blue because that's easy to spot. That's not a chiral center because you have a methyl and a methyl. Let me draw in the hydrogens at these red dots. And then if you look at any of these, you should be able to find actually four different groups. So just like our last example, here on the ring you have a hydrogen, this tertiary carbon, and then we have this side of the ring, which is different from the right side of the ring. Then down here at the bottom, the same analysis, you may have to go a little further, and we go, we get a match there, still a match to a CH2, then we get here versus here you finally find a point of difference. A quaternary carbon versus that tertiary carbon. So that's a chiral center. Same process here and here. So you have four chiral centers in this molecule.